Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on what I'm doing. Uh, I've got the same cell set up. Um, I have two resonant rods hooked up and two PWMs hooked up. Um, each rod and each PWM are hooked up to an individual pipe set. And I um, just wanted to show you the effects of that or some of the interesting effects of that. I have them set up in kind of a way where uh, they sort of influence each other. Um, one PWM, although they are PWM, although they are the same, they do uh, uh, work differently when they're hooked up in tandem. One is basically uh, operating the um, amperage and the other one is operating or the or the duty cycle and the other is operating the frequency uh, but I just wanted to show you what the results are <coughs> so right now that is about half an amp and there is more current going into uh, the one on the right than the one on the left right now. I'm just going to show you how this can be adjusted. So I've just turned down the one side and now I'm just changing the frequency. I don't know if you can hear that. Frequency, so that's at half an amp <clears throat> total um, going into that cell, a combination of both. Um, again, it does really well, extremely well. I haven't measured it yet because I haven't really had time to build the top portion of it yet, but it's coming, it's coming, stay tuned. I have the top, I have the connectors, I just have to um, rebuild it. And on a side note, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last video or not, but the cell now just it does not produce any foam at all. I ran this thing all day, um, conditioning it sometimes and uh, and uh, experimenting with it, and it does not create any foam whatsoever, which is pretty interesting. So you don't have to worry about foaming issues. Um, in addition, um, I do have a link in the description for a PWM and because I've had oh, numerous requests on how everything is wired together and hooked up and details about the resonant rods and the PWMs and the cell itself on uh, how it's all uh, wired up. Um, I have created a PDF um, that I'm now going to be offering with the PWM that is in the link in the description so for a short time you guys can go ahead and purchase the PWM and it will now include the PDF document that is basically instructional and also shows you how I tune it uh, how I connect everything together it shows the diameter and the length of the bifilar rods. It shows you how, the, how I construct them. It shows you the uh, type of wire I use and the diameter of that and the length as well. It gives you all the details that you basically need to um, replicate what I'm doing and start your own experiments and hopefully you know surpass me or uh, maybe you can do some measurements on this thing and find a container with a lid and uh, see what you can do. Um, like I said, I will do that going forward, so, you know, hit the link in the description and have a look and see if that's something you're interested in. But, uh, I'm just going to tune it a little bit here and see if you can hear the frequency change. There's no magnets on this right now, so it is not operating like a speaker. I've taken the magnets off. So that's the resonance frequency. Dialing it down 
to about, there we go, to about 50, half an amp. So that's half an amp. And dots. Uh, if you ask me, it's pretty impressive. I haven't seen anybody do this with half an amp, so pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> and I think in the future, I'm going to do a couple more videos. I'm going to actually do a video on the plate cell that I have that I use to uh, run the generator with. I'm probably going to do that in the next week or two so look out for that and hopefully I'm gonna get a lid on this thing and uh, get some measurements or see what kind of production it makes when it's running through a bubbler so look for that as well but uh, yeah that's where we're at right now so have a look at the link and here I'll just show you the top real quick oh you can see the there's the amperage to knock something over. <clears throat> and, you know, if you can see that, there's absolutely no foam. And I have not put any sort of a foam um, reducing or inhibitor solution in there. It's just it's just um, water and some KOH. Anyways, that's it for...